Welcome back. Hopefully at this point, you have an image composite showing two versions of a historical event. In this next tutorial, we'll cover some image adjustments and adding text. Since my images are taken from multiple sources, my composite doesn't currently feel very cohesive. We can fix that by adding some image adjustments. While I don't want to alter the images too much, Adding some brightness and contrast adjustments will help the images stand out a bit better. When adding image adjustments, you'll want to add them as adjustment layers using the Layers panel. Click on the Image Adjustment icon and select your adjustment. By default, the adjustment layer is applied to all the layers underneath it. To change this, we can click on this button here so that it is only applied to the layer directly below it. We'll go through and make some basic image adjustments. Next, I'm going to make an adjustment to each side to highlight the differences a little more. Hopefully you were paying attention in the last video when we grouped everything into two folders. If not, Take a moment before continuing to organize your layers. Make sure you click on this button to only apply the filter to the folder directly below the adjustment layer. This is looking pretty good. For our final step, we'll add some text. I'll click on the text tool and click on my canvas to create point text. You can also click and drag to create a text box, but point text is great for short bits of text like titles. Oftentimes, it's hard to know what font you want simply by looking at the list. I'll share a quick tip with you. Click on the text layer in the Layers panel. Make sure you're on the text tool. Then, instead of clicking on the drop-down menu to see your font choices, simply click inside the box and use the up and down arrow keys to see how the different fonts would look on your canvas. If I double click on my text layer, I can open up my layer styles and customize my text further by adding drop shadows or outlines. When your students are finished, they can either print out their graphics since we set this up on a landscape piece of paper, or they can export their graphics as PNG files. If you want to take this a step further, I'd recommend having your students create a web page using Adobe Spark so that they can write about their research too.